Mollusks There are over 50,000 known species of mollusks, which makes them second only to the arthropods in invertebrate phylum size. Among the mollusks are some of the most well-known of invertebrate sea creatures like snails, clams, mussels, squids, and octopods. Although one might not see an obvious physical relationship between a snail and a squid, they're remarkably similar in construction. In general, mollusks have three body regions, a head, a visceral mass, and a foot. The head contains the sense organs and brain, while the visceral mass contains the internal organs. The foot is the muscular lower part of the body, which is in contact with the substrate. Mollusks usually have a shell, although some don't. Mollusks also have an extension of the body wall called the mantle. This portion of the animal's anatomy is responsible for secreting the shell. The mantle encloses the mantle cavity, which contains the tenidia, gills, anus, and excretory pores. Many mollusks have a radula, a tongue of sorts which is rough like sandpaper and is used to rasp away at food. The radula is made of a hard material called chitin, the same material of which arthropod exoskeletons are made. In addition, some mollusk radulae are impregnated with magnetite to give them superior wear characteristics. Mollusks have well-developed body organs, nervous system, circulatory system, respiratory system, etc., but lack body segmentation. Gastropods or bivalves Of the roughly 100,000 known mollusk species, about 70,000 are gastropods and 20,000 are bivalves, or 90% of the total. It's from these two families that most people derive their general perception of mollusks as small, slimy creatures equipped with calcareous shells. While the snails and slugs of the gastropod family are eaten the world over, including as escargot in a French restaurant, bivalves are more important as a human food source, including clams, mussels, oysters, and other undersea delicacies. The largest bivalve is the giant clam, Tridacna gigas, which reaches a length of 4 feet and weighs 500 pounds. The oldest mollusk is a bivalve, the ocean quahog, Arctica Icelandica, native to the northern Atlantic and known to live at least 500 years. It's also the oldest known animal. Octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish. Gastropods and bivalves may be the most common mollusks, but cephalopods, the family that includes octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish, are by far the most advanced. These marine invertebrates have astonishingly complex nervous systems, which allows them to engage in elaborate camouflage and even display problem-solving behavior. For example, octopuses have been known to escape from their tanks in laboratories, squish along the cold floor, and climb up into another tank containing tasty bivalves. If human beings ever go extinct, it may well be the distant, intelligent descendants of octopuses that wind up ruling the Earth or at least the oceans. The largest mollusk in the world is a cephalopod, the colossal squid, known to grow to between 39 and 45 feet and weigh up to 1,650 pounds. Diet With the exception of cephalopods, mollusks are by and large gentle vegetarians. Terrestrial gastropods like snails and slugs eat plants, fungi, and algae, while the vast majority of marine mollusks including bivalves and other ocean-dwelling species, subsist on plant matter dissolved in the water, which they ingest by filter feeding. The most advanced cephalopod mollusks, octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish feast on everything from fish to crabs to their fellow invertebrates, octopuses in particular, have gruesome table manners, injecting their soft-bodied prey with venom or drilling holes in the shells of bivalves, and sucking out their tasty contents. Behavior The nervous systems of invertebrates, in general, are very different from those of vertebrate animals like fish, birds, and mammals. Some mollusks like tusk shells and bivalves possess clusters of neurons called ganglions rather than true brains, while the brains of more advanced mollusks like cephalopods and gastropods are wrapped around their esophagi rather than isolated in hard skulls. Even more weirdly, most of the neurons of an octopus are located not in its brains but in its arms, which can function autonomously even when separated 
from its body. Reproduction and offspring Mollusks generally reproduce sexually, although some slugs and snails are hermaphrodites. They still must mate to fertilize their eggs. Eggs are laid singly or in groups with jelly masses or leathery capsules. The eggs hatch into veliger larvae, small free-swimming larvae, and metamorphose into different stages depending on the species. Evolutionary History Because modern mollusks vary so widely in anatomy and behavior, sorting out their exact evolutionary relationships is a major challenge. In order to simplify matters, naturalists have proposed a hypothetical ancestral mollusk that displays most, if not all, of the characteristics of modern mollusks, including a shell, a muscular foot, and tentacles, among other things. We don't have any fossil evidence that this particular animal ever existed. The most any expert will venture is that mollusks descended hundreds of millions of years ago from tiny marine invertebrates known as Lophotrochozoans, and even that's a matter of dispute. Extinct Fossil Families Examining the fossil evidence, paleontologists have established the existence of two now-extinct classes of mollusk, Rostroconchians, lived in the world's oceans from about 530 to 250 million years ago and seem to have been ancestral to modern bivalves. Halcyonelloidans lived from about 530 to 410 million years ago and shared many characteristics with modern gastropods. Somewhat surprisingly, cephalopods have existed on Earth ever since the Cambrian period. Paleontologists have identified over two dozen much smaller and much less intelligent genera that plied the world's oceans over 500 million years ago. Mollusks and Humans Over and above their historical importance as a food source, especially in the Far East and the Mediterranean, mollusks have contributed in numerous ways to human civilization. The shells of cowries, a type of small gastropod, were used as money by indigenous groups, and the pearls that grow in oysters, as the result of irritation by sand grains, have been treasured since time immemorial. Another type of gastropod, the murex, was cultured by the ancient Greeks for its dye known as imperial purple, and the cloaks of some rooters were woven from long threads secreted by the bivalve species Pinna nobilis. Conservation Status There are over 8,600 species listed in the ICUN, of which 161 are considered critically endangered, 140 are endangered, 86 are vulnerable, and 57 are near threatened. 1. The Oheridohofnia Drymica was last seen in 1983 in springs feeding the River Drim in Macedonia, Greece, and was listed as extinct in 1996. Threats the vast majority of mollusks live in the deep ocean and are relatively safe from the destruction of their habitat and depredation by humans. But that's not the case for freshwater mollusks. That is, those that live in lakes and rivers and terrestrial land-dwelling species. Perhaps not surprisingly from the perspective of human gardeners, snails and slugs are most vulnerable to extinction today, as they're systematically eradicated by agricultural concerns and picked off by invasive species carelessly introduced into their habitats. Just imagine how easily the average house cat used to picking off skittering mice can devastate a near motionless colony of snails. Lakes and rivers are also prone to the introduction of invasive species, particularly mollusks which travel attached to international seagoing ships.